Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kari. Today we're going to be talking about my thoughts on, it's gonna be a short video, this is gonna be like an advice video, but it's gonna be about my thoughts on, I'm not fond of men who like down talk women. I think that's a very disgusting mentality and attitude to have, like why would you want to do that? So on social media, it's a lot of men degrading women and down talking on women and I just don't understand why. Like I'm the type of person that I don't like to call dudes niggas because I feel like that's like the ultimate disrespect. It's, it's equivalent to calling a female a bitch and I don't call none of my friends bitches. And I expect them to treat me the same. However, that's not always the case and I don't get offended by it as well because I know that they don't mean it in a harsh way but I rather drift away from using that word to even joke around with to begin with. You know, like it's not... I don't feel like it's appropriate. There's a lot of stuff that is partaking in this insane world that we don't need these little tiny little, you know, negative comments and stuff on social media. But we have a bigger picture to focus on. Like there's a whole bunch of racism going on, police brutality, and, and a whole bunch of other stuff that just doesn't make sense. And that's the bigger picture, you know? And to be focused on people talking down on women, like we don't already have to go through a lot it's just very degrading came out here to talk about that because i want us to do better as humans with that being said i wanted to address the fact that there was a comment made on facebook i'm not gonna and i'm not gonna put the person on blast because he's probably not even the only person that has done this i've seen this a multitude of times with different men on my social media and it has to do a lot with like women and insecurities and if a woman is insecure, so be it. What if a woman is insecure? What does that have to do with you? Why do you have to point fingers on who's insecure or not? Like let people live their lives. You know what I'm saying? Like just make it make sense. How does that affect you that a woman is insecure? The topic has to do with the topic has to do with plastic surgery. You know, like getting your body done. And as many of you know, and probably don't even know, because you can't even tell honestly that I had my breast done. I had my breasts done. My breasts done. <laughs> I had my breasts done and this was last year. Like, there's cruel people in this world, right? You catch my drift. Like, obviously, they're going to have something to say and you can brush it away, but if you're constantly hearing about it, it's going to mess with your insecurity. And perhaps, yes, it is an insecurity, but at the end of the day, like, you can't be sitting here saying, oh, I don't know why women don't appreciate their bodies. People do what they want to do because that's what they want to do and that's what makes them happy. If you have, if you work at a job where no one is appreciating you and they're not paying you what you deserve to be paid, are you going to stick around because you have a job or are you going to find another job that's going to appreciate and pay you better? Obviously, you're going to do what makes you happy and that is going to be to go to the side where you're getting paid better and being appreciated for the work you do. The same rule applies here. Like, if you're not happy with what you have and you have the funds to, like, fix it, then why not? Like, that's where I'm coming with this. I was unhappy with my boobs and, yes, you can see it as insecurity. It probably is an insecurity. But I'm happy now with my boobs. I'm really happy. I felt like how I wanted to feel, like a woman, like I have breasts. So my thing is, I did what made me happy, but now you're on social media throwing shade because I, I did my boobs. How does that affect you? Does that affect your pay? Does that affect your peace? Like, it does not affect you in any way. I don't understand why people take the time to like bash women on social media. But these are the same guys that like, go on Instagram and Facebook and like the pictures of the women that get their body done. They don't sit here and like the women that have natural bodies. No, they do not. And if they do, it's, it's probably like a, a small percentage compared to the big percentage of women that actually do get their bodies done. So it's like a double whammy and I just don't understand why is it that you have to throw shade at somebody who you personally know did their body and you're over here liking strangers' bodies with their bodies done on social media. It's... Make it make sense, cause it done. <laughs> so that's irritating to me, and I don't like women bashing men. I feel like we should, but honestly, it's it's, it's a smaller percentage of women bashing men than there is men bashing women, and it can be just from what I'm exposed to. But honestly, like, 
come on now like we supposed to be lifting each other up especially in these times of needs where like i mentioned before there's a bigger picture that's going on in the world that we're we're focused on everything that does not matter right now and i just feel like i wanted to come on here and share it with y'all that you know i'm here to love y'all i want y'all to love me but if y'all don't love me it's okay i don't expect people to love me everybody to love me i don't expect everybody to love me but if you don't love me just stay at distance and keep your mouth shut because like it's not necessary to share each and every one of your thoughts with everybody especially if it's going to be to downgrade somebody like have you ever heard the saying if you have nothing nice to say don't say nothing at all well i live by that rule and i feel like a lot of us need to start doing that because it's just getting ridiculous and there's a lot of people who deal with depression and anxiety that y'all don't even know how these little comments could affect somebody. You try to block it out, but sometimes you just can't help it. It's social media. People's free to do, put whatever they want on social media. And you just gotta like basically find your own medium to deal with it. But um, if we could avoid it, then that would be great. I'm just speaking for those who could relate. I'm not bothered by anyone who thinks that I'm insecure because I did my boobs. I'm not insecure. I was unhappy with them and now I'm happy. I did something about it. I gave you a good example to compare it to. And that's exactly what I did. So, um, yeah. That's about it. I didn't really want to share this because I didn't want people to think that I felt some type of way because I had my boobs done. No, I don't. And I don't care if you feel some type of way because I got my boobs done either. Because I'm happy. Like... I don't have a man. I'm not doing this for no man. I'm doing this for me. I didn't want this video to be too long and I didn't want to give the wrong interpretation of this video. But that was just one of the key factors that I had in mind from men bashing women on social media. But it gets so in depth and this video will be so long if I covered all the topics. Give an example whereas men are bashing women. The most common bashing that goes on in social media with men from women is just basically a father that is not in his child's life that that kind of person that kind of man always gets bashed on social media and i'm not saying it's okay because it's not we are no one to be judging anyone but there's certain things that is just unacceptable and to me that is completely unacceptable so i'm gonna need women to stop doing that do what you gotta do to take care of your business, whether that means putting him on child support, but do what you gotta do and keep that away from social media. Like, do your business and keep it away from social media because nobody cares. At the end of the day, you just look like a fool. You giving people a reason to laugh and we are not gonna be the clowns of 2021, okay? <laughs> That's not what we're gonna do. So my advice is just for people, like I get social media is a place to joke around and people do joke around with sensitive topics as well which I do sometimes and I well I don't joke around with sensitive topics but I, I you I'll laugh here and there even if it's a sensitive topic if it was funny it was funny but I just want people to be more mindful of other people's feelings and I understand that it's social media and that's not the best place to go for feelings you know because your feelings is gonna get hurt on social media but just, just you know just think about it that's all just think about it and let's do better as humans and stop degrading humans, okay? We are all one race, human race. And let's just share the love. That's all. That's what I came on here to preach about, you know? Let's just make this world a better place. And you guys, stay blessed and have a great day.